Dumping your old computer can be dangerous to your health. In this week's Keeping It Green, Ian Wallace highlights electronic waste. In graveyards like this, old or end-of-life electrical appliances pile up. Discarded televisions, computers, cables, UPS batteries, ICT equipment, all disposed by the original users. Electronic waste can contain harmful materials, however, like mercury and beryllium that pose environmental risks. Persistent organic pollutants, called POPs, are a group of toxic chemicals that are dangerous to human life, animals and the environment. Burning of such electronic waste is a major problem in the Caribbean. Hazardous waste material co-mingled with your backyard waste burning leads to the emission of what we call un unintentionally produced persistent organic pollutants or UPOPs. And as a significant concern that we recognize across the board, if you visit the StopThePops.com website, you would see there the repository of all the information. The improper disposal of electronic waste can release dangerous chemicals. So disposing of e-waste properly is critical, according to environmental policymaker Jewel Bacha Singh. People don't realize that waste and chemicals impact your human health. So it's even more pertinent for you as an individual to take care of these, of these uh, materials in the environment and dispose of them in a proper manner. In 1992, a global environmental treaty came into force called the Basel Convention that controls transboundary movements of hazardous wastes and their disposal using a network of 14 regional and coordinating centers. The Caribbean's center, located in Port of Spain, helps countries to plan their international obligations to sustainably manage and dispose of chemicals and waste. In order for countries to dispose of their hazardous waste, they have to do so in an environmentally sound manner and it will require agreements between parties that's to the Basel Convention in order to effect that waste movement. I am Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.